Hey everyone, Wayne Wallace here, and in this video today, I'm going to be doing um, teaching you how to create Google Forms. Uh, it's free, it's part of Google, and if you don't want to spend money on something like Aweber or MailChimp or one of those other uh, email uh, platforms, uh, autoresponders, then you can use Google Forms and just kind of get started with it on the cheap. So Terry uh, had a post here and she was showing how she created a Google form. So let me show you hers. Okay. So this is her Google form page and you can put your name and email in and hit submit. And um, then Joe down here asked if um, there was a tutorial on it. So that's what inspired this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, google.com forward slash um, docs. So you got to have a Google account, obviously. And then once you're in Google Docs, And you come here to the create button. And uh, one of the things you can create is a form. So if you create that form, and let's name it. Name it uh, test uh, WA form. Okay. And you can choose a theme. They have all kinds of themes down here. So let's just choose uh, this sample one right here. Okay. It's a nice magazine style. Okay. Let's just look down through these. Okay. So let's select that. And then let's say my first question is going to be name, because I want to get their name. And let's uh, helper text. We can put full name. And if it was a question, we could have multiple choice or whatever. Uh, we don't want to do that. It's just going to be a text form. So there's their answer is going to be right there. There's data validation. So if you're looking for like a number over 10 or greater than a certain uh, value then you can put that data validation in there you can make it a required question or not let's make that a required qu question we want their name for sure and then we can add an item so let's add an item add another text item uh, we could add you know a date item we could add a time item so it's pretty much any type of form um, item we can add to this so I'm going to add another text item and this one's going to be email. Helper text is uh, your email address. It's a text item. We don't need any data validation. We want it to be required. We're going to say done. Okay. And then uh, confirmation page. Um, right now it just says your response has been recorded. Uh, publish and show a link of the results. No, we don't want to do that. So maybe if you were doing a survey form and you wanted to show the results of what other people had said, you could do that. And uh, allow responders to edit responses after submitting. We're not going to allow that. Okay. So we're going to send form. And now basically you can share this form on the web and you can get responses from people. So let's just... Um, copy that link and I'm going to open up a new window and I'm going to paste it in here. Okay, so here's my test form. I can put my name in here, Wayne Wallace, and my email address. We'll put Wayne at WayneWallace.com and I'll hit submit. Okay, and there's my thank you response form and I'm going to close this and now I'm going to go back to my Google Docs 
and I'll just done this and I'm gonna go back to the main uh, Google Docs form now the cool thing about these Google Docs forms is it takes the responses and it puts it into a spreadsheet so here's a spreadsheet it shows the timestamp it shows the the values of your fields and um, it's ready to go you can add more fields in here so let's say um, I can add one that says emailed first response so if you're going to do your own email uh, automation manually <laughs> then what you could do is you could put uh, fields in here and you could um, you could do something like this you could say this is my first um, email response this is my second email response and then you could put a date in here like okay so today is 2-1 um, or it's actually 3-1 huh month flew by 3-1-14 okay and that's the first response date that I sent and then I could do the same thing over here I could say okay in 15 days I'm gonna send another email and that's the date that I sent that email so you can kind of keep track of what you've sent to who okay it's not going to be automated by any means but at least this is a cheap and free way to do it and uh, as you saw on this um, page back here you can also stick it on a website with the embed code so if you go here to um, let's see where would it be say maybe under tools uh, nope uh, let's see view live form maybe okay yeah we can edit that form I don't want to edit the form there's got to be a way that I can send form yeah it's kind of weird verbiage here but you can hit send form and then you can get the embed code here so here I could change this pixel width to maybe uh, 250 and height and let's make it um, you know maybe 300 okay and then I'll say done oh I didn't get the embed code let's go back over here and do that again let's say this is 250 by 300 and I can grab this code and then I can go to my um, my web page I don't think I have one open so let's go to um, where can I go let's go to um, this one right here Okay, so here I'll create a new page. And I'll go to text mode and I'll paste this code in and I'll say publish. And then I'll view the page. So now I've got this form right here on my website. Okay, I could put it over here in my sidebar like I did with my Aweber form. Okay, so the only um, you know downside to using Google Forms is you got to watch your email and um, see when you get a response, and then go send out your emails uh, manually to respond to those people. But hey, that's okay if you got the time to do it, and uh, you're always on your email. Uh, people usually expect immediate responses from this and uh, the other thing that Aweber or any other mail system allows you to do is do a double opt-in you always want to get double opt-ins because I could go subscribe you to a bunch of newsletters and if you didn't do it then you'd be getting those newsletters and it, technically it would be spam because you didn't request it so the double opt-in helps you to uh, make sure you're only getting valid email addresses. Okay, hope that helped. Thanks. Bye.